Hello guys, Rob here. Scatter 11 is here and it is a completely new interface. So in this one, I just want to cover some of the basics in the new Scatter 11, including adding new accounts, generating new keys, turning on or adding in new networks and chains, as well as go over some of the new features in the new Scatter 11. So right off the bat, this is the screen you see when you log in to Scatter 11 and it is on the apps page so now they have an apps page with a list of apps just another way to find new apps on all the different chains that scatter supports and you click on one and it just gives you an open link where you can open and go to that dap so here next one down in the wallet section this is where all your accounts will be you can see here i have one of my genesis eos accounts and it is the account here for EOS mainnet and it also has all the accounts that are based off of this Genesis key listed as well Telos, Boss, Meet1 so this is where you will see all of your accounts as well as import new accounts and generate keys so down here in the bottom right hand corner you have import key this is for importing existing accounts and you can select either text hardware or QR code if we select text You'll just come here, input your private key, and that is how you add an existing account into the new Scatter 11. And if we go to generate key here, here you can generate either an EOS IO key, Ethereum, Tron, and Scatter is now supporting Bitcoin. So you can generate a Bitcoin key and have Scatter as a Bitcoin wallet. So next here on the assets page, you just have a list broken down by the assets you have through all your different accounts so you can see all accounts assets on this page and then there is this new identity location and reputation section I'll be getting into those more in a later video uh, but for now I just want to cover the basics in this contacts networks here on the networks page this is where you can add in different chains you can see I have EOSIO selected right now so it has all the EOSIO chains EOS force and wax here are not visible so if I wanted to make them visible just click them on now EOS force is visible and click on wax wax is visible as well and then you have ethereum Tron and Bitcoin each with one network so if you don't see your telos account or boss account or something like that come into the network section and make sure those networks are clicked on and then they will be visible in your wallet section and then if you don't see a network here that you want to add there is the add custom network button down in the corner here where you can go through and fill in that information to add in the network now going back to the wallet section here there is the exchange button up here in the corner now so you can exchange tokens right from within scatter from and token this is sending EOS from the EOS account sent EOS to Rob to let's say I want to go to Bitcoin come over to accounts here select Bitcoin there's a Bitcoin address that I just generated in my new scatter 11 and select token I want to change exchange it to Bitcoin let's just say 10 EOS almost $60 would be 0 0.005 Bitcoin but yeah I, I'm gonna get into this more once I actually do some exchanging through here I haven't done it yet but I just wanted to share it with you guys uh, a new feature in the new scatter 11 one final point I wanted to cover is the difference in the scatter pop-up so here on Nudex if I go to sign in so we can see the scatter pop-up click sign in here's the new scatter pop-up and you can see it doesn't automatically list all, all my EOS accounts I have so if don't want to sign in with the send EOS to Rob account I'll simply click it and then there that is where it gives me a list of accounts let's say I wanted to sign in with my send EOS to CML account select the account you want and then allow and now I'm attached to send EOS to CML so that's how you choose which account you want to connect scatter with no longer is it all listed out on the first page. You have to click the account and then from there you can select which account you want. So there's a quick walkthrough walking you through all the things you would want to do that you could do in the previous versions. 
here in the wallet section is where you import existing accounts or generate new keys and if you're not seeing your account come to the network section and make sure whatever chain you were trying to see has the network turned on that's the basics of the new scatter 11 like I said, I will be going into a more in-depth video going over the new identity features and locations, reputation, stuff like that in a later video. But I just wanted to get this one out there covering the basics. So if you do upgrade to Scatter 11, you know how to import your accounts, generate new keys, as well as click on other networks if they're not already turned on in your Scatter 11 for you. So that's it for this quick overview, guys. I will leave a link in the description to the Scatter download link if you want to download to the new latest Scatter 11. And if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, make sure to drop a like. If you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button and click on that notification bell. Follow HODL EOS on Twitter, link in the description. But that's it for me. I'll see you guys in the next one.